Hey guys, Kurt Haas here from Hostel Conditioning. I'm with Matt and Pete from Ottawa Physiotherapy Sports and Clinic. I got it a little bit better this time. Uh, this is our second video we're talking about, and today we're going to do what? What are we working on in this video? We're going to show people how to keep your shoulder in the right position. Okay, awesome. Right. Let's do it. So basically, what it boils down to is this: 99% of us are working at a desk. And because we work at a desk, we all develop a slouching position. So when you're in a slouching position, okay, this is your humerus, which is the bone here. This is your scapula, your shoulder blade, which is here. And you can see that the humerus is sitting way forward relative to where the scapula is, which is here. And that improper alignment means that your shoulder is not sitting in the right position. So now if Pete were to move his arms sideways or forwards or whichever way, okay, then whatever, is, whatever structures in the front are going to get pinched and or the side. So it's, it's leading him to a position that causes injury. So when you're in the gym and you're doing your bench or your shoulder motions or even your lat motions, when you're pulling down, pushing or lifting, you're already in a bad position. So that's why a lot of people have uh, pain in the front of the shoulder because you're impinging something, usually a rotator cuff or biceps. We've all been there if you've been in the gym setup. Whereas if you hold your shoulder in the right position, so Pete's gonna put his shoulder blades in a, up and back, just a little bit. Not this, which is what I see a lot of people do. It's not this shoving your shoulder into your ears. It's a very subtle up and back, okay? And that is the best position. Now you can see when I hold them, look at the difference. Everything yeah. is completely realigned. So now that he's in the right position, if Pete moves it this way or this way, or even bench presses in particular, then the joint's in the right position, which means the force that's generated is now gonna be transmitted through the joint and pushing the weight versus slouching forward. Now when you try pushing it, your shoulder's compromised. You just can't generate the force, which means that the joint takes a beat. So the other thing too, and like you said before, computers, desks hunched over, but again, for, for us lifters, we also tend to create so much tightness in the front, and we don't work enough in the back, and that's some of the things we're working on today that will also lead to that misalignment as well, right? Exactly, yeah. I think the other thing too that's hard is once you realign things, and then you start exercising through that, I think the thing to be, be cognizant of is to understand that you might have to reduce your weight a little bit, you might have to change a little bit because now you're exercising in a plane that you haven't exercised in a long time. So those 80 pound shitty dumbbell flies that we're doing or uh, lateral raises might become 15 pounds at first because all of a sudden you're doing it in a brand new way or a way you haven't done before. So I think that patience is important too to understand if we work on correcting that, we also have to rebuild through that zone. Does that make sense? Yeah, and the way I would think of it is this, like I'm an older guy, so if you guys remember the days of having those little mini floppy disks in your old computers, Basically, right now, when Pete is, is moving his arm, the brain, uh, the floppy disk in his brain for the shoulder is saying, this is what's normal. So basically, you're taking that old disk out, you're putting the new disk in, and you're saying, hey, this is right position, and start using the new disk versus the old disk. And now he learns how to use the shoulder properly, which is basically a rehab, or even training in the bench is all about. So basically, we have to basically redevelop that motor pattern. Yep. Right? We have to reprogram. So go lighter, rebuild that so it becomes automatic, because if not, you'll start off with the best intentions, and then, five, six reps in, you'll be back out of line because that's what your body knows. It's gonna to wanna to revert back to that, right? So again, take some time to rebuild this stuff. And again, uh, what type of movement? So would you have someone in a warm up? Would they just focus on that? Would they do some light dumbbells? What would you have them do? Honestly, it's a warm up is a great idea, but generally during the day, just think about keeping your shoulder blades back and down. I mean, back and up, sorry. And that becomes natural for you because right now, for most people, relax. That's a natural position, which is the wrong position. But over time, just during the day, keep your shoulder here. If you're gonna comb your hair, if you're gonna get a cup of coffee, if you're gonna lift that weight off the, uh, the weight rack before you, you put it on your bench, keep this position. That becomes normal, this becomes your, your, your natural position versus we call it, yeah, we call it proud, stand proud. Exactly. Right? That kind and of stuff. There, it, right, so there's proud, then yeah. there's proud. Right. That's the wrong that, proud. That's crazy proud, usually after a few drinks in the bar, right? We don't want to go that far. Awesome, guys, fantastic.